Yes. Hi everyone, um, my name is Shirley Anderson and last week we had the opportunity to speak to Martin. Martin was, is the Managing Director of Placement Partner and he really introduced us to Placement Partner's COVID-19 lockdown initiative. Um, and initially it was an initiative to support their clients, but actually we wanted to bring it to recruiters out there. Uh, recruiters out here in South Africa who need support. And so this is a way of doing that. Today, we're going to be speaking to Ronald uh, Jessup, who is a director at Placement Partner in Cape Town. And he's going to introduce us to the next phase of the initiative, which is warm up. Welcome, Ronald. Thank you, Shirley. Cool. Ronald, I actually just want to do firstly start out by asking you, what does it mean to warm up? Well, um, you know, they say luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Um, and put another way, uh, regardless of whether or not you, you are successful right now or were successful uh, up until the lockdown was imposed, none of that matters right now because you need to prepare yourself for future success. So, so when lockdown lifts, it's a restart of the economy. And um, now if you think about a race uh, where you're lined up on the start line, um, who would, who would you bet on to take the lead from that line? Would it be the previous race leaders? Um, or would it depend on what those contestants were doing in the time up to the restart? Mm. So, I mean, you know, um, a lot is going to depend on the, the preparation and the warm-up in the, the short time before that start. You know, if, if a contestant is still putting on their shoes when the gun goes, sorry, doesn't really matter if they're Usain Bolt, they're just not right. going to be leading the field from there. So, um, you know, you don't want to be caught still lacing your shoes. Um, so you want to be using this time to prepare. So, so the, this warm up is actually, um, I mean, the end of lockdown could be very likely to be two weeks from now. So, I mean, we literally don't have a lot of time before the economy is restarted and we just got to, you know, we've got to hit, hit the road running. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, for example, we're, you know, what are you doing in this time? Are you, are you just even as a person, as a recruiter or as a business owner in your day, okay, um, are, you, are you feeding your addiction to the news and social media or, um, or are you actually spending most of your time on the, on, on the actually things that are in your control? And today, while we're speaking on, on feeding your addiction, I was on social media and I saw a joke, life is short. Make sure you spend as much as possible on the internet arguing with strangers about politics. <laughs> <laughs> so that basically sums it up. Yeah, um, exactly. You know, the privilege of the, uh, of the situation we find ourselves in. So yeah, basically focus on what you can control and what matters. Um, the things that will enable you to flourish from this point forward. Prepare yourself, sharpen your skills, prepare your business. That's what warm up means. Yeah, absolutely. And Martin also alluded to preparation. He spoke about things that are around communicating with your team, bringing them together, etc. And when it comes to warm up, what would you say are the absolute habits that are absolutely pivotal to ensure that, you know, teams are growing during the lockdown period and getting ready for beyond that? Because that's really what it's about. It's about, you know, not it's, a, it's about getting prepared for, for beyond that. Yes, yes. Um, look, in, in times of chaos like this, um, it's obviously imperative to establish routines, uh, your own routines. So um, if, uh, if you're a business owner and you were used to the, the environment you were in, uh, or if you were working in a business as a recruiter um, and you had an environment that was put there for you, you don't have that anymore. Now, um, you need to establish your own routines and your own environment to calm your mind, to be able to, uh, to enable you to focus on what matters. So mm -hmm. just like your own personal routine of exercise, shower and coffee to kick off the day, uh, your business needs that too. So um, routinizing things like team meetings, uh, weekly dates and times for feedback or planning, um, that makes it easy for your team to settle. Uh, it makes it easy to manage as well because everybody knows what is expected of them and 
by when. Um, and everybody needs something solid to cling to in times like this. They need victories and progress and, and fulfillment. They, they need yeah. to say in the sense that achieving something. You know? So in this environment, I mean, just being open for business is an achievement in itself, isn't it? Um, yes, so celebrate, <laughs> you know, celebrate that fact with your team. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, then move on from there and uh, like brainstorm about what can be improved about the business. Because now is the time for working on the business mm. um, if you're prevented from working in it by, you know, by business essentially being put on hold. Mm. I think that there's some recruiters out there. Um, I mean, all businesses are in a different um, time or phase of, of where they're growing. So they may be startup, they may be small to medium sized businesses, they may be large businesses, but no matter where you are, you know, I think investing time into the establishing these habits can be overwhelming. So what would you say to those recruiters who are scared to um, invest into those things now because of the uncertainties ahead? Um, I'd say there's no better time than now because, um, you know, it's very hard to do uh, when business is cooking. Um, mm. So, there, you know, there's certain things that are just ideal to do now. I mean, think about how you will feel after lockdown, yeah. right? I mean, it's hard to imagine after lockdown now while we're in lockdown. But if you try and picture yourself after lockdown, you know, you'll probably be very happy. But you might also have certain regrets about certain things you should have done during the lockdown that you just didn't get to. Um, I told myself uh, in, in the lockdown, I'd, I'd find the key in the garage. I still haven't done it. I might not actually even get to that and a few other things. So, I mean, business-wise, these things would typically be of a preparatory nature, you know, like working on the business as opposed to in it. Um, be, it it's maintenance, um, downtime, implementing new systems and procedures, uh, training. I mean, for, for, you know, finally one can get creative and, and you've got uh, time and space to, uh, to decide, you know, which skills need to be upgraded in your business which personal skills need to be upgraded, whether they be recruiting skills, uh, sales skills, um, business skills. Uh, you know, it's, it's, as Stephen Covey would say, it's time to sharpen the saw. You can't yeah. do that while sawing. So, um, you know, planning, uh, these kind of things you've got to do while business is not cooking and there's no pressure to be, to be uh, making hay while the sun shines. You know, when the sun's not shining, this is the time to, to do all those um, back office preparatory tasks. Mm, mm, absolutely. Now, at the end of the day, you guys are obviously a recruitment software business. You've made it your business to bring South African recruiters, um, you know, closer to their clients, closer to their candidates, closer to their teams. So when it comes to systemizing these things that you've been talking about, uh, where do you think they need to focus? What do you I think? think the first, sorry, oh, sorry. Should go ahead. Where do you think they should focus on um, in terms of systemizing those habits? Because you're in the in the business of systems. Yeah. Um, so obviously, they need to choose a system that that fits their business, or they need to adapt their business to a system. Um, but but anything that can be systemized probably should. Um, because humans are by nature uh, creative beings and we don't really like to be involved with the mundane. So, um, and recruiters especially, uh, you know, they've got that people connection um, that will never be replaced by computers. So anything that can be taken off a recruiter's plate by, uh, by systemizing it should be. Um, so, um, I mean, things to look for, in, uh, in a recruitment system, the first and most important thing is, is it called placement partner? Because if it's not, you know, it's, it's a no go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, I I'm agree. Not. I agree. Uh, I but, tend to agree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we gradually accept that there are other good systems out there. Um, <laughs> but I'd say, yeah, I, I'd say first off, um, you need to look for, uh, for a, a vendor that is, that is entrusted uh, that you can trust with your most important non-human asset, which is of course your data. So you're looking for you know reliability and a, a company that isn't going to, um, you know, that, that is going to survive 
crises like global financial crisis and and and, and this crisis you know you want you want longevity um you want a system that's that has been designed by by recruiters over a period of many years so that it actually works for recruiters and works well um you want performance you, you know you want speed you, recruiters aren't known for patiently clicking a, a search button and waiting a lifetime for stuff to happen um you you know you want that uh, quick performance you want local support you don't want to be speaking to someone in a different time zone and in a different language um and and you want uh, you want a client centric company that focuses uh, on their clients and cares about your business yeah so um, no, yeah you know and you want you want your system to be forward thinking and um with meaningful features and making progress um so uh, i mean there's a, there's a few basics that you would that you would always look for when you you know, when you're looking to systemize your business. Awesome. And if there were any recruiters out there looking to make contact with Placement Partner to see how can you really support them during this time, uh, where could they find you? Uh, well, they can get in touch with any of our, our sales or support staff or directors, management. I mean, we're, everybody in the company is focused on, on our clients. And, uh, you, know, um, you know, that's what we do. We partner with recruiters not only to get through tough times like this but to flourish as well in, in good yeah. times absolutely well thank you so much for your time and your top tips um i think what stuck out is to really make sure that we are setting ourselves up in a way that we can be creative um because being creative and taking the mundanity out of work is going to be what makes us adaptable in future situations and being able to move with the time. So I think that's been an amazing thought to really think about and to take action on. So thanks so much. And we look forward to talking about uh, with Nolene, I think next week on being- Oh yeah, that'll be interesting. Cool. Thanks so much, Ronald. Look forward to that. Thanks, Have a good bye. afternoon. Cheers, bye.